I want to thank you for returning to launch what I think is going to be the most impactful campaign this community has ever seen. Lisa, thank you very much. Let's share our Thank you, Tracy. I want to add that we are so glad that your sister Laura and you and our home where they belong. A couple of weeks ago, an employee asked me to um, interview with her. She was doing a paper, and uh, we sat down, and she said, the title is Inequality, Inequality. And she said, I want to know from you whether you believe that homelessness breeds inequality or whether you believe that inequality uh, is bred by homelessness. And I thought for a moment, and I said, you know, um, I can't even go there because I don't look at homelessness through that lens. I look at it through a very different lens, and it's the lens of opportunity. I really believe in the American dream and the promise that it has for all Americans. I believe that through hard work and perseverance, this dream can be achieved by each and every one of us. I also believe that for the three years that I've been at St. John's, and many women trying to achieve that dream, it can be done, but some people need a boost. They need a hand up. This boost may include helping with goal setting. It may include intense tool building. It may include a rental subsidy. It may include simply letting someone know that they can do it. As our community comes together to give the homeless the boost they need, we're giving ourselves and our community a profound boost because these people become self-sufficient and they are no longer a drain on our community and it's increasingly scarce resources. So give yourselves a hand for coming here. I see many in this audience who have received such a boost. Olivia, Frankie, Monica, I mean, Rebecca, there's so many who have received this boost. These are individuals that at one point in their life did not see their self-worth. They did not see how they could achieve, fulfill the American dream, but they see it now. Let's give them a round of applause. At St. John's, we have a weekly new client orientation, and I close that session with a Hindu proverb every week. And that proverb is, if you're facing in the right direction, all you need to do is walk. Sacramento, we're facing in the right direction as we endeavor to end homelessness. Together, let's walk. Thank you all for being here. If you want to get an applause, all you have to do is say, Michelle, Michelle Steele. So I want to thank Michelle and St. John's um, for the work you do in this community. And uh, it's just unbelievable. And there's so many other you know, organizations um, that are providing very critical uh, both shelter emergency opportunities as well as services. And again, it's going to be a real team effort to, to make this a, a real reality. Um, these flags here, um, we, want to, we want to change the, the image of the way people see the homeless people in Sacramento. A lot of times we look at them for some reason or another as a stigma in our community. I'm very proud to be associated with the homeless community and that's what these flags are going to represent. They're going to rep represent all of us stepping forward to rebrand and re-educate our community on what it's really about in terms of respect and dignity and for everyone to, to make sure they have, a, every head has a bed. And these, these flags were designed um, by a firm in Sacramento and I just want to acknowledge really quickly Scott Crocker Let's give Scott Crocker a round of applause. Scott Crocker led our campaign um, in terms of Sacramento Step Forward. He's part of A Stone or A Stone Crocker and Flanagan. They do great work in our community. It's another example of just a community stepping forward to help out. So again, Scott, thank you and, and your whole team for making this a reality. Um, the next person I'd like to bring up and introduce is uh, is Eric Stanion. He works for Bank of America and again we talk about we need diverse funding streams in order to sustain the efforts in Sacramento when it comes to permanent housing and services. Um, we need our corporate community to step up and Bank of America has done a great job. They've given a significant amount of money to the Sacramento Regional Community Foundation to start an initiative for homelessness there. They gave money to St. John's. They gave money to my office for an initiative. 
So they've given, in a very short period of time, over $250,000. Uh, let's give Eric Stanley a round of applause. Come on.